a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Star Wars Film Star Wars is a 1977 American epic space opera film written and directed by George Lucas. It is the first film in the original Star Wars trilogy, and the beginning of the Star Wars franchise. Starring Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Peter Cushing, Alec Guinness, David Prowse, James Earl Jones, Anthony Daniels, Kenny Baker, and Peter Mayhew, the film's plot focuses on the Rebel Alliance, led by Princess Leia, and its attempt to destroy the Galactic Empire's space station, the Death Star. This conflict disrupts the isolated life of farmhand Luke Skywalker, who inadvertently acquires two droids that possess stolen architectural plans for the Death Star. When the Empire begins a destructive search for the missing droids, Skywalker accompanies Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi on a mission to return the plans to the Rebel Alliance and rescue Leia from her imprisonment by the Empire. Star Wars was released in theaters in the United States on May 25, 1977. It earned $461 million in the U.S. and $314 million overseas, totaling $775 million. It surpassed Jaws to become the highest-grossing film of all time until the release of E.T., The Extraterrestrial. When adjusted for inflation, Star Wars is the second-highest-grossing film in North America, and the third-highest-grossing film in the world. It received 10 Academy Award nominations, winning seven. It was among the first films to be selected as part of the U.S. Library of Congress National Film Registry as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. At the time, it was the most recent film on the registry and the only one chosen from the 1970s. In 2005, the British Film Institute included it in their list of the 50 films you should see by the age of 14. Its soundtrack was added to the U.S. National Recording Registry in 2004. Today, it is regarded as one of the most important films in the history of motion pictures. It launched an industry of tie-in products, including TV series spin-offs, novels, comic books, video games, amusement park attractions, and merchandise including toys, games, and clothing. The film's success led to two critically and commercially successful sequels, the Empire Strikes Back in 1980 and Return of the Jedi in 1983. Star Wars was reissued multiple times at Lucas Behest, incorporating many changes including modified computer-generated effects, altered dialogue, re-edited shots, remixed soundtracks, and added scenes. A prequel trilogy was released beginning with The Phantom Menace in 1999, continuing with Attack of the Clones in 2002 and concluding with Revenge of the Sith in 2005. The film was followed by a sequel trilogy beginning with The Force Awakens in 2015, and continued with The Last Jedi released in December 2017. A prequel set directly before Star Wars, Rogue One, was released in 2016. A spin-off prequel titled Solo, centered on the backstory of the character Han Solo, is set for release in 2018. Plot. The galaxy is in the midst of a civil war. Spies for the Rebel Alliance have stolen plans to the Galactic Empire's Death Star, a space station capable of destroying an entire planet. Rebel leader Princess Leia has the plans, but her ship is captured by Imperial forces under the command of the ruthless Sith Lord, Darth Vader. Before she is captured, Leia hides the plans in the memory of an astromech droid, R2-D2, along with a holographic recording. R2-D2 flees to the desert planet Tatooine with C-3PO, a protocol droid. The droids are captured by Jawa traders, who sell them to Moisture Farmers Owen and Beru Lars, and their nephew Luke Skywalker. While cleaning R2-D2, Luke accidentally triggers part of Leia's message, in which she requests help from Obi-Wan Kenobi. The next morning, Luke finds R2-D2 missing, and meets Ben Kenobi, an old hermit who lives in the hills and reveals himself to be Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan tells Luke of his days as one of the Jedi Knights, former Galactic Republic peacekeepers with supernatural powers derived from an energy called the Force, who were all but wiped out by the Empire. Contrary to his uncle's statements, Luke learns that his father fought alongside Obi-Wan as a Jedi Knight. Obi-Wan tells Luke that Vader was his former pupil, who turned to the dark side of the Force. 
Obi-Wan then presents to Luke his father's weapon a lightsaber. Obi-Wan views Leia's complete message, in which she begs him to take the Death Star plans to her home planet of Alderaan and give them to her father for analysis. Obi-Wan invites Luke to accompany him to Alderaan and learn the ways of the Force. Luke declines, but changes his mind after discovering that Imperial Stormtroopers have destroyed the moisture farm, killing his aunt and uncle. Obi-Wan and Luke travel to Mos Eisley, where they meet smuggler Han Solo and his Wookiee first mate Chewbacca at a cantina, then join forces and board the Millennium Falcon. Upon the Falcon's arrival at the location of Alderaan, the group discovers that the planet has been destroyed by order of the Death Star's commanding officer, Grand Moff Tarkin, as a show of power. The Falcon is captured by the Death Star's tractor beam, and brought into its hangar bay. While Obi-Wan goes to disable the tractor beam, Luke discovers that Leia is imprisoned aboard, and, with the help of Han and Chewbacca, Luke rescues her. After several escapes, the group makes its way back to the Falcon. On the way back to the Falcon, Obi-Wan engages in a lightsaber duel with Vader. To ensure the rest of the team escapes the Death Star alive, Obi-Wan sacrifices himself at the hands of Darth Vader. The Falcon escapes from the Death Star, unknowingly carrying a tracking beacon, which the Empire follows to the Rebels' hidden base on Yavin 4. The Rebels analyze the Death Star's plans, and identify a vulnerable exhaust port that connects to the station's main reactor, and that the Death Star can be destroyed through a chain reaction. Luke joins the Rebel squadron, while Han collects his payment for the transport, and intends to leave, despite Luke's request that he should stay and help. In the ensuing battle, the Rebels suffer heavy losses after several unsuccessful attack runs, leaving Luke as one of the few surviving pilots. Vader leads a squadron of TIE fighters and prepares to attack Luke's X-Wing fighter, but Han returns and fires at the Imperials, sending Vader spiraling away. Helped by guidance from Obi-Wan's spirit, Luke uses the Force to destroy the Death Star seconds before it can fire on the Rebel base. Back on Yavin 4, Leia awards Luke and Han with medals for their heroism. Cast Colon Lucas favored casting young actors who lacked long experience. To play Luke, Lucas sought actors who could project intelligence and integrity. While reading for the character, Hamill found the dialogue to be extremely odd, because of its universe-embedded concepts. He chose to simply read it sincerely, and he was selected instead of William Catt who was subsequently cast in the Brian De Palma-directed Carrie. Colon Lucas initially rejected casting Ford for the role, as he wanted new faces. Ford had previously worked with the director on American Graffiti. Instead, Lucas asked the actor to assist in the auditions by reading lines with the other actors and explaining the concepts and history behind the scenes that they were reading. Lucas was eventually won over by Ford's portrayal and cast him instead of Kurt Russell. Nick Nolte, Sylvester Stallone, Bill Murray, Christopher Walken, Burt Reynolds, Jack Nicholson, Al Pacino, Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, Billy D. Williams, or Perry King. Many young actresses in Hollywood auditioned for the role of Princess Leia, including Amy Irving, Terry Nunn, Cindy Williams, Karen Allen, and Jodie Foster. Foster, for one, turned down the role, because she was already under contract with Disney, and working on two films at the time. Carrie Fisher was cast under the condition that she lose £10 for the role. Colon Lucas originally had Cushing in mind for the role of Obi-Wan Kenobi, but Lucas believed that his lean features would be better employed in the role of Grand Moff Tarkin instead. Lucas commended Cushing's performance, saying, he is a very good actor, adored and idolized by young people and by people who go to see a certain kind of movie. I feel he will be fondly remembered for the next 350 years, at least." Cushing, commenting on his role, joked, I've often wondered what a Grand Moff was. It sounds like something that flew out of a cupboard. Lucas' decision to cast, unknowns, was not taken favorably, by his friend Francis Ford Coppola and the studio. Lucas needed an established actor to play the important Obi-Wan Kenobi character. Producer Gary Kurtz said, the Alec Guinness role required a certain stability and gravitas as a character, which meant we needed a very, very strong character actor to play that part. Before Guinness was cast, Japanese actor Toshiro Mifune was considered for the role. According to Mifune's daughter, Mikuki Taigawa, 
Her father turned down Lucas' offers for Kenobi and Darth Vader, because he was concerned about how the film would look and that it would cheapen the image of samurai. At the time, sci-fi movies still looked quite cheap as the effects were not advanced and he had a lot of samurai pride. Guinness was one of the few cast members who believed that the film would be successful. He negotiated a deal for 2% of the one-fifth gross royalties paid to George Lucas, which made him quite wealthy in later life. He agreed to take the part of Kenobi on the condition that he would not have to do any publicity to promote the film. Lucas credited him with inspiring the cast and crew to work harder, saying that Guinness contributed significantly to the completion of the filming. Harrison Ford said, It was, for me, fascinating to watch Alec Guinness. He was always prepared, always professional, always very kind. To the other actors, he had a very clear head about how to serve the story. Daniels auditioned for and was cast as C-3PO. He has said that he wanted the role after he saw a Ralph McQuarrie drawing of the character and was struck by the vulnerability in the robot's face. Initially, Lucas did not intend to use Daniels' voice for C-3PO. Thirty well-established voice actors read for the voice of the droid. According to Daniels, one of the major voice actors, believed by some sources to be Stan Freiberg, recommended Daniel's voice for the role. Colon while Lucas was filming in London, where additional casting took place, Baker, performing a musical comedy act with his acting partner Jack Purvis, learned that the film crew was looking for a small person to fit inside a robot suit and maneuver it. Baker, who was three feet tall, was cast immediately after meeting George Lucas. He said, he saw me come in and said he'll do, because I was the smallest guy they'd seen up until then. He initially turned down the role three times, hesitant to appear in a film where his face would not be shown and hoping to continue the success of his comedy act, which had recently started to be televised. R2-D2's recognizable beeps and squeaks were made by sound designer Ben Burton Lucas imitating baby noises, recording these voices as they were heard on an intercom, and creating the final mix using a synthesizer. May he learned of a casting call for Star Wars, which was filming in London and decided to audition. The seven feet tall actor was immediately cast as Chewbacca after he stood up to greet Lucas. He said, I sat down on one of the sofas, waiting for George. Door opened, and George walked in with Gary behind him. So, naturally, what did I do? I'm raised in England. Soon as someone comes in through the door, I stand up. George goes HMM, looked up, virtually turned to Gary and said I think we've found him. He was actually eligible for either of the two roles, Chewbacca or Darth Vader. He chose the former because he wanted to play a hero. British actor David Prowse took the other. Mayhew modeled his performance of Chewbacca after the mannerisms of animals he saw at public zoos. Colon Lucas originally intended for Orson Welles to voice Vader. After deciding that Welles' voice would be too recognizable, he cast the lesser-known James Earl Jones instead. Other actors include Phil Brown and Sheila Fraser, respectively, as Owen and Beru, Luke's uncle, an aunt, Jack Purvis, Kenny Baker's partner in his London comedy act, as the chief jar in the film, Eddie Byrne as Vanden Willard, a rebel general, Dennis Lawson and Garrick Hagen as rebel pilots Wedge Antilles and Biggs Darklighter, respectively, and Don Henderson, and Leslie Schofield as Imperial Generals Cassio Taggy and Maradman Bast, respectively. Richard Leparmentier plays an admiral, named Conan Antonio Motti, who dares mock Darth Vader's faith in the Force and his failure to locate the rebel base and the stolen Death Star plans, and is nearly forced choked to death by Vader, only saved by Tarkin intervening and ordering Vader to release him. Michael Leder plays a minor role as a stormtrooper known for accidentally hitting his helmet against a door. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?